Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers and today we're going to be painting a brown butterfly and I'm going to show you step by step how I paint it. Um, the supplies and everything are in the description, all the brushes and stuff, but I am going to say that the um, canvas I'm using isn't actually a canvas, it's like a DIY frame. So you build it, it's an Arteza frame, you build it from a sheet of paper. So it's kind of big for the screen, but so it's 9 by 12 and then it turns into a 5 by 6.6 6 inch. So I already painted it with sap green, which is this, but you can use whatever green you want. So I'm just going to get about a half inch filbert to do the background and I'm going to be using these two greens the sap green that I already used and then light green permanent so they you can do whatever color you want to just mix a green from what you have but I'm going to use these pre-mixed ones so I got some sap green and unbleached titanium and I'm just going to kind of switch between different colors and make make a pretty green background so this is some of that light green permanent with white and some unbleached titanium I'm just going to kind of alternate between light and dark and just kind of blend them together. And you can do like some on the edges. I already painted the edges, but um, just so that it'll kind of go with it too. I'm going to add some lighter, darker. can get a little bit of the burnt umber to make it even darker than it is. And I'll kind of put some neutral color in there. Have some brownish in it. So I'm going to say welcome to anyone who is new to my channel who just found it. I do a new video every Friday. I post a new one and I'll show at the end what the schedule is for next week's video. But I like to show step by step so it's easier to follow along and it's definitely easier when you're starting to do it this way. Okay, so I'm running out of this. <clears throat> Tried to make sure that all my paints were kind of small size because I hate wasting it. And so I try to do the amount that I'm supposed to do and when I do these small ones I tend to put too much so tried to do less this time and you can put just make some interesting little brush strokes so you can just kind of swipe back and forth and put these brush strokes on And I'm going to pause the video while I have these colors to do the sides, but you won't get, I'm going to pause it so that you won't have to see that part. Alright, so you can see I did the sides kind of like that too. You don't have to do that if you don't care about the sides. You could just paint it a solid color, but I went ahead and did that. And now, 
hopefully I can do this without it lifting. If the paint starts to dry, it can lift. So hopefully I did, did, will be able to do it. Hopefully I didn't wait too long. But I'm gonna take some of this red, the crimson, and the cadmium orange, and some white, and make like this light color. I don't want a whole lot on the brush, but I want a little bit. And I'll just kind of put some of that in here so that it looks like some of these berry things that are back here kind of blurred in the background. I'm getting some more orange more orangey colors in here. Okay, and I'll get the greens again just to kind of go around the edges, try to get that blurry effect. So it looks like there's just some color back here for there, those berries to be. And there's like a stalk. Kind of blurry. I'll go ahead and kind of draw it in. And the stalk with berries on it. Kind of fuzzy. You may have to let it dry and then go back and kind of put this blurry effect, but just however you are able to do it. And there's like a another stalk type thing. It's a bunch of berries here. So we've got some of our oops, blurry effects now. So I'm going to rinse that out in my brush. And I think we're going to do mainly smaller details now. So I'm going to let this dry and come back. Alright, so it's dry now. I can keep going. So. I'm going to get a round brush. This is a number four in the Royal SG 250 series. So um, you can kind of see the size it is to my hand. So it might be a different number in whatever you use. But all right, so I'm going to wet that down. And I don't want it like dripping with water, but I want it damp. And I'm going to go ahead and do some more of these berry things here. I don't know exactly what they're called, but the red berry looking things. And do like maybe the more in focus ones or do a little bit more defining on the blurry ones. Kind of round out certain areas. I want it to stay blurry, but I just kind of want it to show a little bit more. There's a stalk here. And this has some like, we use that like tip and kind of make some round shapes. The end, we like. We like berries, do it rounded. And 
Okay, and there's all these like different interesting shapes here. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of defining on these. I'm just going to put in some like certain shapes that I see back in here. And then once I kind of get it how I want, I can take some more of my crimson and my cadmium orange, make it brighter, so it doesn't have as much white in it, and go back and kind of, again, a little extra color. There is like a little bit of greenish on one of those stalks there. I might even take some of the umbrage titanium and do some lighter areas too. So I'm not going to do a whole lot, just a little bit to. Make it a little more interesting. Okay, and then the stalk that the butterfly sits on, I'm going to go a little bit above, so I'm starting it kind of like in the middle. And going down, I don't want it to come over halfway. So do that, and kind of with very little paint, just kind of use your brush to. Oops. Blur out, blur out those edges a little bit, and put like some round areas. There's like a big round spot there. Okay, so then once we got the basic thing in there, then we can get some darker. It was already a pretty bright color that we had. Darker and lighter. So I'm going to get some of this white and make it a lighter color. And there's white here and literally have kind of a dark spot in between and get some of the darker to make like a middle so it's like light middle and dark and do some middle here Okay, and you can go back with the dark and kind of add it around in some areas just to put dark back, make it brighter, kind of just going back and forth between the two. And now for really dark, I'll get the crimson, so the red, and then some ivory black. And get really dark. And you can use whatever black you want. Just, that's the one I chose to use. And you can see I'm kind of make, being a little messy with it. I'm, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm making it like an easier lesson. 
pretty easy. All right, so I'm gonna work on the butterfly and if we wanna come back and put some more detail there, we can. So, the butterfly is gonna be like from here out to here. So if you kind of, kind of get it in your mind where you want it, then you can draw it in kind of in that area. So I'm getting some white school chalk in the body, like where I did this little circle in the line. The body is going to be kind of right above that in that little area, make it kind of like a triangle. And then he's got a little head there. And then make his wing is going to kind of come over. And it's going to kind of stop there. So his wing, I'm going to make it stop kind of on the third. So Kind of mark where the third is in that area should be where the wing stops and comes around kind of comes in a little bit and then there's this other section that kind of comes around and then once it gets to this part there's this section that's like that. So there's basic butterfly. And yours is going to be different than mine. It's just everyone's is going to be a little different. But that's kind of the basic drawing there. And now that I know where my butterfly is going to go, I'll take my brush and So the legs are about the same size as the body and the head, so the legs are going to come out about there. Okay, so I'll just get started on the butterfly now. So actually, now that I'm looking at this, I think this brush will be pretty good for filling in the butterfly too. So I'm going to get burnt umber over here. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the ivory black with it just to make it a little darker. And start, let's see, start with that. Make it go in this direction that the stripes are going. So it's kind of going down here. You do want to go like up and down and then have the other stripes going the other way because if I put like put it down like that and then it dries and it has this big ridge of paint, then when I go over this direction, there will be like this ridge and it will be hard to cover up. So just make it easier in case something like that happens. Okay, and so that I know where that section is, I'll take some burnt umber. So it's going to be a little lighter since it doesn't have that black in it. And put that here. So you can see the difference in the two rounds here.
So it's actually coming together pretty fast. So I'm happy that about that. I like it when you think it's going to take a certain amount of time and it ends up not taking as long. Just like, wow, that happened fast. Alright, so there's the basic butterfly. And I'll get some of the black to put on the body. So go against this. And there's kind of like, like a triangle in where where the uh, lower wing is. And I'm just going to kind of fuzz it out a little bit so that it's not going to be a hard line. A little fuzzy. Kind of blend it a little bit. Okay. And there's like a section here that kind of goes down. So once you get like, I drew an oval, but I can look at the picture and just kind of do any adjustments. So the head's more like here. And he's got like a rounded part there for I guess his tongue, or <laughs> his tongue wrapped in. And... Yep, so... I'm gonna get some more of that brown. And just kind of put that there. Okay. That's good. So I'm not going to put in like the antennas and the feet, I'm going to do that with a smaller brush. So when this is dry, it's easy to take the chalk off. You just get a damp rag and wipe it off. So since this is a paper and not canvas, it's uh, probably why it's drying so quickly. So I'm just going to take my rag and dip it in the water a little bit. Just make sure that it's dry enough. You can do this. Yours may still be wet, so. Okay, so there was a wet spot that wasn't quite dry there. Okay, and I just did that black part, so I'm not gonna go up there. All right. So since I lifted that off, put that back. All right. So now I think while that dries just a little bit more before we keep going, I'm going to put in the legs. Oh, I have a number one round in the Princeton Velvet Touch line. So you see how the difference in these two. So it's a lot smaller. Just whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you have that's small enough to make these little bitty lines. And he's got a section right here where the legs are coming out. And it goes up almost to his face. And then comes back down. onto the berry to see that and then there's like a kind of it's rounded here and then it does this goes past the berry so you kind of see where these legs are compared to the berries that you put Okay, and then, let's see, here's, I kind of made, there's um, a leg that comes behind, so starts from kind of not at the black, but at the wing, 
and then it touches down to this one, but I kind of made it a little far. So all I'm going to do is take the brush, the other round brush I used, and kind of just push it up. <laughs> Very simple to kind of fix something like that. Okay. So you can just make adjustments with acrylic, you can cover up things that you've already done, so I'm going to start here, go down, and back up, kind of, makes a little hook type thing, like it's sitting on that, it's like it got a little foot <laughs> there almost, and then this. Comes off this way and down. Okay, so it stops about there, but it's supposed to be touching this berry here. So, what I'm going to do is change the berry. If you're wanting it to be super realistic, you probably draw it and you know, be super careful and everything, but for this, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to be something that I need to be super careful of. I just want to show you how you can do a simple butterfly painting and put some detail back in that. Get some white and some of that lighter color. Still not quite there, so I'm just gonna. Alright, I got too much water. You don't want it to get too much water or it'll puddle like that. I tend to do that sometimes. I get too much water because I'm. Wanting it to, it's like I wash it off and then it runs down on the handle. We do that quite a bit. We all have something that we do. We don't want to, it's kind of hard for us to stop doing, but that's mine. Okay, so the legs are pretty good. We will do a little bit more detail on them, like um, highlighting and stuff, but for the moment, I'm going to see if I can take my chalk. Actually, no, I think I just should go ahead and do it. So I'm going to take my small brush and there's certain areas that are lighter. So basically what it does is it'll go it'll have these light streaks and in between the light streaks will be like a dark vein. So what I'm going to do is take the lighter and brush it on. And make the in between what we laid down already. If I can do that. Get some black and put some dark in between. Okay. And if you think that it's too thick, you can just go on each side and make it all smaller. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing pretty much throughout the rest of the butterfly for these. So there's going to be some that could cut off from here. It's 
So once I got the in between parts, then I'll put the line through each between each of these. And I'll go ahead and do the line from here. And your veins and things don't have to be exactly like what's on the butterfly, as long as it's similar, as long as it's something that would be on a butterfly. It can't be all like wacky and have a bunch of weird patterns and spots and dots all over. But, so the stripes have to be similar enough that it looks like a butterfly wing pattern, but if you miss a section that is supposed to be, you know, you missed one spot and you you should have had one more extra little thing in there, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Just as you get, just try to get most of them in. And maybe that the little, just certain animals or certain plant or flower, you just may have a hard time doing. So if that's the case, just, just keep painting with other things and eventually you'll be able to do whatever you weren't able to at the beginning, if you were just starting. You might be, there's probably something everybody has that is a little hard, but you can keep practicing and eventually you can get better at it. So I hope, let's see, maybe I can zoom in. I'm just using these browns and black and maybe if I can zoom in you can kind of see what I'm doing better. Okay. So this lighter color is the burnt umber and the darker is burnt umber with a little bit of black or just black straight. See, that line was pretty thick, so I'll just go back with the burnt umber and cover over parts that I don't like. There's a little bit of black, I didn't get it quite to the edge. You see, I kind of went over the edge there, trying to get it on the edge. So I can just take like a wet brush and try to get the color off. Take a wet brush and kind of lift it off like that. Okay, so I'm going to try to start getting these to go kind of downward as they go around. Okay. Okay, and it the butterfly is lighter than this, 
but I'm just going to lay in the basic lines and then we can go back. Okay, so that upper wing I think is pretty good. So now we'll focus on the lower wing. So, and if the paint isn't flowing, you might want to add like a little bit of water, just enough to kind of make the paint just flow off a little bit easier. So I'm putting in the main veins here, the ones that are darkest. And really, like you can do it how I did up here, just kind of slowly you do the whole thing, just whatever you like to do. get kind of a mixture of burnt umber and some black. And I'll get some of the burnt umber a little bit on bleach titanium. It's going to be a little bit lighter. And I'll just do this here so I can see that edge. I don't want to lose it. Okay, so back to the burnt umber and the black, alternating. Okay. And I'll get some of the black and do kind of breaks off here and goes around. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Whoops. Okay. Okay, and then Kind of in this area, we'll do okay. So now we got the black. So this is probably the hardest part, is doing these little tiny details in the wing. But you just kind of keep going until until you like it and if you're having a hard time with it 
maybe it's your brush. It's kind of hard to get, you know, thin enough to do these small lines, or you just need to practice doing the small lines with the brush. Maybe it's just hard to control. But. Okay, so there's the basic outline. So now I'll zoom out just a little bit so you can see the head. I thought this was going to be easier, but now that I'm doing it with all those little lines, probably a little harder than I thought. So, it's probably not the easiest thing that I've done, but. Okay, so I'm going to get the black and do the antenna. So then the other side, I'm going to add a little bit, just a little bit of white. Make it not as dark. Make it look like it's a little further away. Make it a little smaller. Like that. Alright, so we're getting there. We're getting some good details. So I'm going to get the white now. And I'm going to brush on just some of these. Okay, and now for the butterfly wing, what I want to do is take some of that burnt umber and um, bleached titanium and make it a little lighter. And don't want a whole lot of paint on my brush, but I'm just going to kind of skim over. You can get some burnt umber and lay it down first if if you want to. Just kind of brush over. some burnt umber and lighten up some of these back ones, but they're not going to be quite as light. And you can go up against the edge of each of those. Okay, then as we get over, some of these so we were kind of blocking in earlier the areas we wanted this other color just kind of slowly build it up this is like an impressionist like you don't have to make it perfect. Just kind of let, let it look like a painting. Just don't really worry about what it's going to look like when it's finished. Just have fun doing the stripes and 
course, I want to try to make it look as good as I can, but sometimes if you just want to have fun, it's nice to just, just do something kind of simpler and just go ahead and try it and just not worry about how it looks like. I mean, you might still try to make it look good, but just don't worry too much about all the little details. I'm going to put a few, like, areas that are kind of in between. It'll be a little darker. And I'll get a little bit more and bleach titanium and white with the burn umber and just I'm going to flip it so that I can brush this way I don't normally flip mine some people like flipping them I don't normally do it because I'm afraid I'm going to throw myself off and I'm going to put something in the wrong spot. But in this case, I already have all my lines drawn, so it will be easier to do these highlights this way. So I think that's good. It looks cute. I like it. Pretty butterfly. And I'm going to do some details on the wings and the legs and things. So I'm going to get. I hope I was on camera that whole time. It's like doing this small is a little different than what I'm used to. But I kind of like it doing it small like this. It's kind of neat. Alright, so I'm just going to take it and do like a little bit of gray. Actually, I should zoom in for this little bitty super tiny. Super duper tiny on the legs. So I got some gray and I'm going to do a little bit on there. And I can go and get some black on the head and go back to my gray and just kind of put a little bit of gray, kind of highlight, going back and forth with dark and light. So I kind of get like a highlight here. Okay, and there's all these like white spots on him, so I got white but it's got a little bit of the gray in it since I didn't wash my brush out, so it's not pure white, but it's definitely lighter than what we've been using. I'm just going to put some dots on him. Put some in between, like where that little tongue is, and the head. Okay, and I'll get some more white that's so it's a little brighter, a little bit more pure.
He's very spotty. Got lots of little dots on him. Okay. And now for the wing part. Oops. I need to remember that I'm zoomed in. So. Alright. And. So I'll get some of the light color that was a little, wasn't pure white. I'll get a little bit of unbleached titanium to it. A little bit more white. So it's got a little bit of the unbleached titanium and some of the gray. So it's not pure color. And round in each of these. like a spot okay and then there's some in this back one So you can kind of, by not tapping down very hard, get some small ones and... Okay, now I'm going to kind of thin it out a little bit so it'll flow better. Make sure I got a nice thin line and along each of the sections. Okay, it doesn't go all the way up, so I'm going to take some burnt umber and just kind of fade those a little bit. Okay, then I'm missing some spots, so then above each of these, ooh, almost dripped there, above each of these, there's like a oval shaped one. So it's kind of long and ovalish. It's kind of cool. It may not be one on every one, but towards this area there is quite a bit. Okay, sorry that was the fridge. Okay. So there we go. I think that's pretty good. I will take a little bit of the unbleached titanium and some burnt umber though. So I got kind of an off a brownish color and just put that in, in some of the spots around the edges. So it's not pure. Kind of get a little dark around these. And then you can get some darker brown, some black in it. Just kind of do some of that around, around the outside if you want to. I'm not going to do that too much. I don't know. I might just go ahead and do bit with the thin, thin little line. It's not really 
is showing up a whole lot. It's actually probably looking more like it in the camera than it is in my eye. I don't know. Alright. That's probably good. So, let's zoom out. Alright. So there's butterfly. It's like the size of my hand this picture is, so. Okay. I like it. It's cute. Actually, it looks... I don't know. I just, it's really, really cute little guy. It's, he's not really colorful because he's brown, but the background having the color kind of red and the brown kind of makes it pretty. Okay. So, now I'll get my fabric has still hit artist pen if it'll work here. Looks like it's not wanting to I've got a flower vendor. Here we go. Was it wanting to work? Okay, so there we go. There's the butterfly. And I'll show if I can zoom it out. That's as far as it'll go. Okay, well, here's the October. What we're doing in October, so it's gonna be like some mountains, and I don't know exactly what you would call that, just really very, very big mountains with low valleys and it's got pretty like orange and blues and then as I'm doing this sign, I'm going to put some birds on it. So, and we already did these, so if you want to look at how they came out, you can go to my channel and look at those. That's, this one turned out really pretty, I like that one. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe so you can see new video every Friday. And thanks for watching. Bye.